I do want to touch upon, you know, we sp- speak about McKinsey with almost, uh, you know, you're obviously so much more senior than me and, you know, spent yes, a lot more time. Uh, but, you know, starry-eyed about the firm because of the impact it had on, on us. Uh, you've publicly spoken about Rajat a lot and I think uh, what happened with him, he's written it in a book and, you know, to go from the, from the pinnacle of glory, probably the most successful Indian professional uh, CEO at, at the time and for a long time to being as enigmatic and influential in India uh, to building out McKinsey India, to PHFI, to ISB, to all the things that you guys did together and then to go through what was probably one of the most public um, uh, trials of character um, at that age and with that kind of um, pedigree and contribution. It hurt, like my family and I have no personal equation with, mm. with him. But my mother, uh, my, my, my father is from the corporate world. He was CEO of Tech Mahindra and he is kind of, he's from the world but never involved with, maybe on NASCOM somewhere here and there. But it, I, I remember when I got recruited into McKinsey, it was 2011. So it was very fresh at that time. And I remember feeling extremely hurt that an institution that had just made me a job offer he is going through. Is, and my mother is saying, I, I look at his face and I feel that he's someone I can trust. I always feel that. This. My parents lived in the US for many years. Yeah. Many, many years. And my father said, this is, something is wrong. Something is wrong. And and even the firm is polarized, right? The alumni of the yeah. firm are polarized yeah. to say, hey, values and this and that. Rather than like, hey, if you do this kind of scrutiny on anyone, go and find something. So, you have a very personal, deeply you know, deeply mentor mentee relationship with, with, with Rajat. How did that affect you? In, in I'm sure it did, but of course it did. Uh, touch on that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it affected me a lot. Uh, I have to tell you that in the ISP journey, there was Rajat, Anil Kumar, and me. And I've often thought about the fact that. Wow, I mean, two of the people I worked with, which led to what I have today, were involved in one of the biggest corporate scandals in recent times. And they were associated with me, they were in the firm, I worked closely with them. Uh, so, of, of course, it's scary. I mean, sometimes I feel like, wow, I could have been involved. Maybe if I had been older or they're more their contemporary or if I had been in the US, I could have gotten involved in these deals or these. I mean, after all, we did ISB together. Yeah. Could have been doing something else together. But you know, I, I, I did have to, and it was tough because, I mean, it's certainly not as tough as it is for Rajat and his family and I've seen that up close. So watching that was tough. But it was tough to see your, <coughs> you know, when my father passed away, I was very heartbroken and I remember talking to Rajat and saying that, you know, now you are my father figure. Uh, and uh, I really feel that way about him. I, uh, I, I do feel that a lot of the opportunities I've gotten, what I've learned and my life, how you should be as a person, as an individual, as a, uh, in education, uh, governance, stuff I t- they are very nuanced things which I learned from him. I owe him. So it was very hard to reconcile. I remember one day, Ranjit Pandit and I going for a dinner by ourselves during the peak of this and saying, Let's just go for dinner and let's not today talk about what happened. We'll just talk about everything else. <coughs> we won't invite anybody else, just the two of us. We'll just talk. We were both quite... I remember going to Bukhara and you know how tables are not too far away. What would you believe that right at the next table came a couple and another man? And the entire evening they talked about Rajat. 
and they said how well they knew him and they were from new york and you know do drive is driven by what you think think is driven by what you want to be right be think do yeah. and if you work it backwards then what do i do okay i how should i think about it and therefore what do i really want to be and when you go to the core of that i realize that this is a person who has been my inspiration and is my friend and that will never change yeah. and so i have my theory about what happened and when i feel up to it and i know that i'm happy to take on the push back and the debates and the arguments and i share it otherwise my simple thing is listen whatever he did this is my friend yeah. and i will always respect him that took a big weight off my shoulders so then i made it a practice that whenever i went to the us during the time he was in jail i would always visit him every time because listen if your friend is in jail you'll go see him no if your family member is in jail you'll go see him so what's to say what's to do why should i justify and so i think that really made our relationship even stronger he wrote the book and i take some credit for it i don't know if he'll accept it but it's okay it doesn't matter but i did play a big role in pushing him to write the book i also felt that the book didn't need to be about the controversy though it may have become a little bit like that but it's really about his life it's a remarkable life yeah and you know uh, life's like that it's not always all high yeah. i think it's a huge lesson i think it's a very powerful lesson for me personally i think rajat got involved in a lot of things probably lost track of everything he was involved in and what was going on and i haven't said this but it's very clear that he was led quite a bit by anil i've seen that relationship now you can always say listen he's not a babe in the woods he didn't have to when a lot of people question all those things are true but it's important what company you keep it's important that one doesn't get carried away i think if rajat has one fault and i really do he's too too trusting of people always what's you can't complain to rajat about anybody he he was almost to a fault not say bad things about anyone is continuing to help anyone and everyone regardless of i've learned those lessons also uh, but i do think that ultimately it does come down to regardless of how everybody else thinks it sounds a bit cliched but you have to evaluate your own relationship with that person and then deal with that so in this case uh, i do think that there were things that happened uh, which were unfortunate that you have to be careful what you say you may be thinking other things but out of context it can sound very different so it one has to be measured in our conversations it's not talking without being too careful about the implications you can never be too careful i think in when you're building doing big things talking to important people you can be very careful do you really mean what you're saying yeah. you think about how it sounds uh who you associate with is as important as what you do uh i think that's very important uh i've become i do think i'm become much more tough about that uncompromising about that uh but at the end of the day i do think that was also, also i have been again very inspired by rajat by the way he conducted himself through all this a lot of people say that oh what's so great i mean but listen i can tell you 
that whatever happened, the truth is Rajat Gupta had resigned from the Golden Boot. You can call it the tyranny of fate. It's true that he had resigned. He was asked to stay on. And he chose to stay on because they were saying, Nene, don't resign right now. All of this could still have happened, but he wouldn't have gotten so much in trouble if he had been off the board. If he really wanted to do insider trading, he wouldn't have resigned from the board. But, uh, and when this whole thing broke, there are countless number of people who have been accused of insider trading during that period of time who settled. The great thing in the US is you can settle anything, pay a fine, get off. I have lots of good friends who probably did trade, did do insider, but nobody knows about the fact that they were even accused. Rajat chose to fight. I told him, you know, Rajat, how how did you face such challenging and such, challenging is not even a word, such a torturous, demeaning thing. You know, this, the, the place he rejects about in the book, it used to be called the shoe. So it's basically a, it's called a shoe because it's like being locked in a shoe. And he said that, you know, Pramath, I discovered that one, the only way to feel <laughs> that you can put up with that kind of distress is to just imagine that what others are going through. I think you may think of it as a corny thing to say, but I think it's such a huge realization when you think about that. And that's how, that's the only way. And he said that, you know, I was looking at what was happening to others and I was like thinking, my God, you know, he was saying the people here for false charges of possession just because they are from the wrong race locked up for 30 years. They have, their families have deserted them, they have no access to legal help. Kuch nahi hai. Endless hai unka life. So again, the, the resilience, the, lot of people say that he hasn't apologized. He could, listen, he stood in front of the pan IIT. My sister was there. She's got. She sent me a recording. He stood in front of the entire pan IIT audience and said, "You know, I feel badly for having let you down. I know how much you all respected me, and this is not something that I feel. And I let you down." He 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 says it. Now, I think this. I hope anybody, nobody ever has to go through something like what he got to. But at the end of the day, I have, I, I feel sad. But I think it's one of, you know, even in his, in what happened, I have, he's left us with a life lesson of both what not to do as well as how to deal with it. You have a crisis. I completely agree. Well, thanks for sharing. So, uh, you know, it's such an, it's a very deeply, uh, uh, to think of someone who's done what he did for decades to give back to India, to build out what he did, to achieve what he did, and to get, in my view, I just I was too young and all that, I'm also not directly involved, but from a very limited vantage point, to get a punishment so deep, so drastically disproportionate to what what was actually done in the in the public eye and in actual uh, reality uh, but you're right to come out of it the way he has i think you can see the so like his eyes are still so sharp you know totally. his, his his he's still like uttejit bolte usko like it's completely intact i'm so glad that he's kind of come out of it and with yeah, the resilience yeah, only someone like him probably has yeah, and I think that has been deeply inspiring for me personally. Again, and I mean, when I when I when I do share this sometimes and talk about it, I know people sometimes people think that I'm biased and that uh, I'm in denial or that I'm being naive. 
uh, but I will only I only know that I don't and I don't mean I don't care I am I'm conscious but I only know that listen if if a, if if a close friend or family member or somebody who's a blood relative something like this happened you wouldn't care na ki hua nahi hua kya hua mera wo relationship hai i am I'm not no, a you said when your father passed away he yeah. is your father figure that's it yeah now you stand in front of him take the bullet in the chest Correct. he is your father figure Correct. matter and who kya hua it. kya nahi hua kaun care karta hai matlab and wo dusron ko samjhana mushkil hota hai because they think i am arguing as a professional yeah. that this is not this is beyond mckinsey that's right and uh, i mean i was just with somebody this weekend and you know in mckinsey events like this rajat's name always comes up and these are all people from that era and i feel sad because some you know he, i think he has helped every Everyone. one of us actually. so many of them over every him. one of yeah. us and i know that he's conscious of the fact that, that mckinsey and a lot of people just dropped him yeah and yes the firm had to do it but i would say that isp i i would by the way the hardest thing for me was when i had to call him to ask him to resign from the isb board from the isb board i was the guy who did that it's the hardest thing i've ever done in my life and he was his he was initially stunned right i mean it's not like he wouldn't have done it i mean he's the first one who would have but at that time it was in the thick of all this was going on and in the middle of it i had to call him when he was dealing with all kinds of shit i couldn't imagine what would be going on at home wife kids and so on and i'm calling to say rajat i'm sorry but you know i have asked you to step down and anita his wife has often told me that you know you guys didn't back him at that time and it hurts and i feel bad but i had to do it for isb and that to that time also i had to be very clear that at this time i am doing this for the institution because the institution has to be protected and then people are not going to listen to so really tough and i don't know what life lessons i've learned but they certainly hit hard i hope i never have to use these lessons yeah. in a similar situation uh but yeah it it it's tough when you see that i know who who all he has helped that is also a lesson i think there's something gratitude goes beyond i agree you know, I just agree. because somebody screwed up right you can't forget what they did for you i completely what agree. Did. back and forth with, between bill and rajat when rajat offered to resign from the gates foundation board and he said no yes and then he said no i have to and then yes. bill reluctantly agreed i think it was a period of a few yeah. months and so on yeah. but and even that website by where all the ambani brothers adi all the people wrote came in put in videos yeah. you could see that the power of people who were saying everyone at certain levels make mistakes but the pros and the contribution of this gentleman are far beyond some of these you could call them crimes you could call them oversight you could call them careless mistakes you could call them whatever i would i would say if you do a fortune 500 if you do that kind of needle in the haystack kind of search with an overzealous attorney general on any of the fortune 500 ceos you'll find something worse than what you find found on the other all of these guys talk on the phone with each other after board meetings always find something you sure could you have done things better fair enough but I do think it is completely disproportionate but thank you for sharing I think it's a learning lesson for all of us that no I do think kind of I do think it's a learning I think the the thing about this now that it has happened is that one should take the learnings away one should really look at what could have been done differently yeah. how could he have not avoided getting into this situation whether he did or not yeah and he, and also how you deal with crisis how you deal with situations like right. this and the i think that's the inspiring part of this yeah. story a sad story but a lot of people said no you know indians won't be ceos in corporate america for a long to look at what's happened now right and we'll have an indian at the helm of mckinsey for sure i think uh, uh, sooner rather than later but i'm glad that you know i'm glad that that's not happened and i hope that he kind of 
comes back with a bang and is he is he in delhi now no he he lives in uh, i don't think he will come back with a bang i don't think he wants to in he's quite happy. in whatever way he defines a no, bang it could so be teaching I, think, i don't know no so he's he's very involved in supporting many institutions many people many you know the people who are his best friends are i think that's the thing about him i think i tell you i mean i i i would i i i think a, he's he's always been for me a lesson in humility equanimity looking out for other people uh can you know talking about people my wife suffered from a debilitating illness and uh, i remember that i was struggling with it he knew about it uh one day i think we were flying from somewhere to somewhere and he said explain to me what the problem is so i told him he said why don't you talk to my former partner colleague from scandinavia who's the head of uh egon zenda now his wife is a very famous doctor in new york it's very tough to get hold of her i'll call her and you go see her and it happened and it changed our lives now i mean i didn't i hadn't i i'm i hadn't remembered this incident till you just we started talking this is one of the insignificant things in my life but a huge thing right in your life yeah not at the end of the day yeah i may have done a lot of work with him but as isb or not i didn't grow up i am not a peer i'm not as close as i am to a lot of people who are my peers here but he has a man who's interested wants to know how can i help goes out of the way makes it happen changed our lives right we are so i mean i remember that uh, this woman did massive surgery and when she came out you know we were both both you know both of us we we thought of her we we thought of her as god god uh, that was the problem that was the extent of the problem we were dealing with and uh, this was an introduction by rajat didn't have to think about it didn't have to go out of his way ki pramod ki wife ko ko help karne ke liye offering no i'm not even asking i'm not i didn't even know he would know yeah. i was not even talking to him hey shantanu do you know some people who can help with this problem this is a guy who's saying i know there's a problem but actually okay. batao mujhe and main batata hu main call karta hu on you no know, follow through kya hua yes that's what life is about i mean then it doesn't matter what the person does no i agree